a sophomore, Mike Tuiasa Sopo. Number 90, a sophomore, Ken Byrne. Number 89, a sophomore, John Crawl. Number 33, a senior, Dwayne Smith. Number 58, a senior, Tony Sweet. Number 50, a junior, Keith Crasson. Number 2, a senior, Darren Ringenball. Number 44, a senior, Drex Zimmerman. Number 6, a junior, Sean Langston. Head coach of the Loops, Frosty Westering. And now the start.
that pass complete to Gary Dawson. Pick up of three yards. Oh, come on. Call it.
yard touchdown pass.
anything. Now the press, you know, takes it, and everybody else takes that scoreboard and tries to measure it. But there's no way a, a scoreboard measures a football team. I believe that. I believe your coaches believe that very strongly. Sure, we all want to win, but winning is so much more than a scoreboard. Today, this was a great football game. We were challenged to the very end. You took it away from us, you came back, you took it away, you came back. We were good enough to come back. But the best thing was we had a real game, didn't we? It was a real game. The scoreboard, you know, they'll say it was a route. It was no route at all. It was a great football game, even though I know that's not easy for you to believe, but I really believe it, and our guys really believe it. And I think you were a great sports team to play today. I mean, there were no cheap shots, all that kind of stuff. You can go out and hit each other and enjoy hitting each other. And when you can enjoy hitting each other in football, it's the greatest game there is, because it's the only game you can do that and legally really enjoy it. So I just want to tell you that we really admire your coach here and all the things that he's done with the program. And I know that the record maybe doesn't show it, but it does to me, because I know what this man is inside and I know what he believes in and I know what he stands for. And you've got as exciting a football team with the people that you have right now that you can ask for. You're a very explosive team. So my hats are off to you today, even though I don't have any shingles still on the top here. But I want to say that I just really feel that after a game when two teams can get together like this, sure, one, we got blown out down in Linfield. I mean, it was, I mean, we cut it to 20, uh, 30, 22 to 17, and then they just took off and scored four touchdowns and, and just took it. But at the end of the game, we weren't hanging our heads because we played them lots just like you have before. But I just want to say today, it's great to be here with you. Admire you as young men. And you can go up to Monday and start. We got a new week, a new game, and away we go again, right? Right. Yeah. That's what football's all about. Every Monday, we start over, we flush what we did, we learn from it, and go from there. And I just want to tell you, it's a privilege to come and play here. <coughs> Last year, you had us 10 to 7. Remember? In the third quarter. It was a great game. And then we exploded like we can do, and that's what we hope we can do, you know, as we get down the road. So we just thank you for playing you today cheerleaders and all your people here is what makes the big time where you are. I don't think it's an Eastern, and I don't think it's a WSU, and I don't think it's with the Huskies. I think it's right where we make it because that's where we are, and I think that's what the Lord said to us, that we take where we are and make it the very best, and I think we can do that. So I appreciate a minute here to share with you, with these teams and your coaches. Wish, wish the Lutes luck the rest of the year. Mm -hmm. Put it all together mm -hmm. because we do know you're a great team. Grab a hold, guys, will you? <coughs> Dear God, we humbly stand before you right now in, in lots of things that we don't really understand. But there's one thing we do understand, that your love is the greatest love that there is in a world that doesn't have a lot of love. And the love we can have for you and share with others makes the light shine bright. A lot of us don't know you very well, but that's okay. Because as soon as we understand what it is that this love is, it gives us a warmth inside that lets us try to do the things that you let us to do. So I thank you for this Whitworth team and their coaching staff and all their supporters and for the PLU team and their coaching staff and, and their supporters because we can play this game for what it is. To go out and just lay it all on the line and when it's all over, we can share this love. And to do this in a way that you taught us to pray a prayer that all of us know in your name, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Okay, guys. Hey, pirates! Hey, pirates! Go, pirates! Go, pirates! Go, pirates. Go, pirates. Go, pirates. Go, pirates.